I'm Gaffney. I'll take care of your shit. What can I call you? Call me Blaggenfly. Drew Blaggenfly? I heard you defeated the Vita Fabula gang single-handedly. <laughs> well, actually, as you can see, I've got two hands, mate. My friend Taryn over at Conjured Craft has declared this to be their sci-fi summer, so in that spirit, this project will celebrate Sci-Fi July. The idea for my science fiction builds is to do a bit of world building around a crew that I can use to play a game of Stargrave or something similar. I've really been enjoying kitbashing different parts together to create my own characters, and for this project I kitbashed a pilot and a mechanic out of a variety of bits. The pilot for this ship uses a Stargrave trooper bit as the base. The arms and head come from a huge bounty of bits that were gifted to me by my good friend Paige over at PMC Illustration. I'm still absolutely blown away by her generosity. Paige, thank you so much. I then use the same method to build the mechanic, and when it comes time to paint, I make it look as if they, along with the ship, all belong to the same faction or company. But more on that later. When I built my first spaceship out of random junk and thrift store toys last year, I cut up a bunch of things that I didn't end up using. Among those was a bottle of body wash. That's what I used as a starting point for this spaceship. That first ship was a large vessel, capable of carrying a crew of 10. This time around, I wanted to build something a bit smaller, more of a sleek combat craft. To that end, I designed this one to have a small cockpit, ideal for a single pilot. I started by stuffing the insides full of aluminum foil and sticking it together with EVA foam and glue, and then I found some parts I could use for detailing. The pilot and the mechanic operate under the same faction, but have never met directly. This is the first time the pilot has landed on this particular planet, so he engages the mechanic in conversation to make sure they can truly trust one another. So this ship is the Spear Tip, eh? I'm impressed. I won't lie to you and say it's the fastest ship in the sector. It's been reinforced with heavy plate shielding. It's still faster than the average ship, but now it can take a heck of a beating too. That is, if they see me before I strike. I procured these pulse weapons mounted up front to replace the old ion blasters. They are lethal, and they got quite a range on them. I'm sure I don't have to tell you to be careful with my baby here. Not at all. She sure is a beauty. I'll be taking extra care of this one, sir. I really enjoy making up stories and lore for my builds. It's really fulfilling to give names and backstories to faces and places. It's like making the pieces of a giant puzzle as I build it, and there's no box art to go by. I'm discovering it as I create it, and it's a lot of fun. Especially when I can spend time crafting with friends. I'm really lucky to have found myself in a group of like-minded crafting friends. These people are a huge influence and inspiration in my life. They help to motivate and challenge me. I'm lucky because I have friends I can hang out with regularly to work on projects, play fun games, and just chat. I'll be honest, I've been dealing with some mental health challenges lately, which hasn't been the easiest for me. And as we all know, it can be really difficult meeting new people. I'm so glad I put myself out there and found a group that I can be myself around. It's been a very valuable and comforting experience, and I highly suggest anybody else, you know, look for people who are in the same hobby as you you might be surprised by what you find. But anyways, it's time to paint.
So without any further ado, here is the final result. As always, thanks for watching. I'll be back next month with something completely different. My name is Jay, and this has been the Lo-Fi Workshop. Peace!